Audi TT Mark 1, removing the crash panel. Hi all, Andy here and welcome back to the channel where today I'm covering the removal of the crash bar and also bumper mounting hardware. To get the car to this stage, you will need to remove the rear bumper and I have covered that in a recent video. So if you'd like to take a look at that, then please do look at the link above. My crash bar is intact and the bumper mounting hardware is also in good condition. So I don't need to remove it. However, looking at the state of the back of this car, underneath the bumper, it is filthy. While I'm not doing a total nuts and bolts restoration of the car, whenever I've got a panel off and there's some dirt and grime behind it, I like to remove that, get it nice and shiny again to protect it for the future. So if you've had a rear end in your TT, chances are the bumper will be cracked, but also this panel, which I believe is designed to collapse and absorb the impact, could be damaged. Crash bar itself, right here. Looking at mine, I think it's at a slight nudge, as there's a bit of a dent in it, but nothing to write home about and nothing that's going to affect me putting this back on the car. Also, this plastic bracket here is what the top of the bumper bolts into. Again, depending where the bumper has been impacted, that could also be broken. Literally connected by the T25 Torx bits. So if you're replacing a bumper due to crash damage, there may be some other panels or parts at the back of the car you need to remove. Let's take a closer look. Here is the plastic part that the top of the bumper attaches to. We can see it is attached with the T25 Torx screws just there. If we move across, it's the same on the other side. The plastic fixing for the top of the bumper also has two lower T25 Torx screws holding this part in place. So there's a total of six holding this on. So let's get that removed first. So the first one is removed from this compartment here. The next one down is just here. That's two out and you can see it's already loose. Carry on working across. Let's remove this one next from the lower part of the plastic mount. And that's quite interesting. As I've undone that, part of this has come away. So while we know that the back of the car has got a crack in the paintwork on the bumper, looks like this panel is also broken. Although it hasn't really affected the structure, that is broken. So I might replace this part. That's four out. Moving to this side. It's five removed, and the last one is in this compartment right here. Six. With all the screws removed, we can simply lift that away from the car. Now with this off, we can see this has completely snapped off here. This part is cracked also, so I'm gonna try and locate a new one of those before I put the bumper back together. The great thing to point out about any genuine Audi part is somewhere you will find the part number stamped on it and the Audi badge. And I can look on the back and I can see that if I need to order a new one of these, the part number is 8N0 807458A. So I'm going to speak to a breaker to see if I can find a replacement part for that. I had a quick look on eBay and I found the parts straight away for £16.62. So the parts are cheap enough and still in plentiful supply. As always when I'm removing screws, nuts and bolts, any components from the car, always store the screws in a piece of cardboard, easily push them through and that way I'll keep those bolts or screws together with the part just taken off. I've hung the part up along with its screws. For removing this crash bar, so there are three 13mm nuts on either side, one through the crash bar, so I'm going to loosen that one first. One. 
that's one side off and undone. Moving to the other, again there is this hole through the crash bar to remove the top nut. Again these are 13mm nuts. Now on this side I've undone the nuts almost so they're all the way off. I haven't totally removed them just yet. Just so that when I don't get to the last nut it doesn't come crashing off in my hands. Which would be a very apt name for a crash bar. Just this last nut to remove that I've left loose but on the car. And I'm going to put the crash bar is extremely light by the way guys so you can hold that in place with one hand. Just spin this last nut off completely. There you go. That's that one off. And you'll find the bar and the brackets just lift away from the car like so. By turning the crash bar upside down so I can read the Audi part number, it is 8N0. 807309B. So we can also remove the shims, I think. So there's a metal shim that can come off the crash bar. There's a soft pad underneath, which I guess is to absorb a bit of shock. If we move to the other side. Here is the harmonic weight, and as discussed, some people do remove these, but I am going to leave mine on the car. But I am going to also tighten it up because it is loose. But to maximise the cleanup, I am going to remove this. These nuts are a different size. I believe these are 14s. This should come off nice and easy because it was loose already. There's a second nut here and a third nut here. Now as I'm undoing this last nut, once I get it to almost off the car, I'm going to support the harmonic weight. I don't think this is overly heavy, but you should better pick it off on your own. Slide it off, get that to one side. Securing this metal mounting bracket in place is this one 13mm nut. So we're going to get that off as well. And that slides off just like that. So that's the majority of the mounting hardware removed from the back of the car. I have left the plastic lugs on either side. Don't really need to take those off for this. They're not hiding an awful lot of dirt and they're not going to stop me cleaning it up. As mentioned, I have taken this apart to clean the back end of the car and show you how to remove the crash bar and supporting bumper hardware. And the cleaning process, including how to remove the rear lights, will come in a follow-up video that I will link above. I hope you found it useful. If you have, then please do give this video a thumbs up and also think about subscribing to my channel where you'll find a whole host of other content on the Audi TT Mark 1. As always, thanks for watching. See you soon. Take care.